let's see the next question in Python what would be the output for the following code and we start with uh, values that is a list of numbers 1 7 3 and 5 then we have a numbers that is a set made out of our values list okay then we have this very simple check numbers function that will receive a number and it will check if the number exists inside of number set okay if it exists it will return true if not it will return false finally we have this for loop for i in filter and for the filter function we provide two parameters the first parameter is the check numbers function as a condition and the second parameter is the values as the collection to be filtered okay so what would be the output of this okay let's see the options that we have and we have these three options option a one two three and four option b one seven three and five and option c true 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 and true so let me open the terminal and execute these and the correct answer is b one seven three and five let's understand these first python loads the values list and the number set so far so good right no we must understand what is number set number set is actually the unique unordered elements of values list so what we know is the number set have the same elements of values list but but we don't know the order then Python loads the check numbers function and it goes to the for each loop and here we must pay attention to the filter function this function receives two parameters the first parameter is the condition that it will use to filter and the second parameter is the collection that will be filtered this is equivalent of having this code okay it will start by creating an empty list and then for each value in values it will pass each value one by one to the check numbers function and it will check if the number exists in the numbers set again the number set have all the elements of values list so this check numbers function will always return true in this case so each element will be added to the result list and at the end it will return all the elements of the values list least so knowing that the filter function is actually doing nothing in this specific code what is actually happening is for each element in values we are printing the element 